guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a do-it-yourself I'll be showing you how to build a picture frame so for the tutorial you're just gonna need some flat corner brackets just to hold everything together you'll also need some nails you can choose the size that you would like to use um, and then of course some twill because I'll be doing a fancy little design with them I'm gonna be using some spray paint you can use whatever color you would like I chose to use the color gold so you'll see that um, and then I just bought a hand saw. It was really cheap, maybe $11 to $15 at Lowe's. I also got different cuts of wood. Um, I got long and short. I believe it's a 50 by 30. So to begin, I'm just going to start off by lining up the wood. Well, actually, Ness is doing this. Um, she lined up the wood to the very tip and where the brackets kind of meet and just locked everything in place. And then she's just going to start to saw everything. And you'll notice how the saw kind of just like, well that whole contraption kind of moves along the floor. So you may need somebody to spot you um, or just kind of help you out, give you some assistance. This is kind of a two man project, unless you have, you know, a power saw or something like that. But we didn't, you know, we didn't need anything that intense. So yeah, I just continued to hold down the, uh, the tools as much as possible while she continued to saw. And then we're just going to really show you how it'll have the excess wood on it. And it may have a few like random pieces just attached. You can just pull those right off. But overall, you should just get a really nice sharp cut. So, And you just want to continue that process until all um, sides of the wood is actually cut. So I believe in total we had about eight sides to cut. Ness did that too. So I just held the, <laughs> I just held the saw down. Luckily for us, we had hardwood floors, so we didn't have to worry about like going outside or anything like that. To do this, just sweep them up, vacuum them up, that's it. Now, moving on, Ness just wanted to show you guys pretty much how the picture frame would look after everything was put together. So here we're just showing you that, um, how everything lines up perfectly. This is kind of checking yourself, but honestly, I mean, everything should line up. As long as you do everything from corner to corner, you should be good. So we had to flip the picture frame, well the wood pieces, on its opposite side just to be able to sew, well not sew down, but screw down the brackets. We did not have a power drill. That would have made this process so much faster, but no worries. We did everything by hand using a hammer and a screwdriver and we just took those really large screws and just, you know, screwed everything down. And the screws came with the uh, bracket also, so you don't have to buy additional screws for that. The additional screws that we actually bought were going to be for the tweed little design that we're going to do. So everything looks really, really sharp and clean. I'm just showing you that here, how everything is tight. Um, and then this is just a really good look at the picture frame itself. 
we decided that we were gonna place the nails kind of strategically so it was a 50 by 30 inch frame and we just kind of counted out how many nails we had and used every other nail so I think we only ended up using about 32 nails in total <laughs> And then here, Nessie's just kind of marking her dots for where the uh, nails need to go and where we need to, you know, hammer and screw them in. frame outside just in our little walkway area um and spray painted it on top of these boards um and that's pretty much it we gave it a nice even coating if it wasn't completely even honestly we did not care it was just sort of just we were ready to be done with it <music> finally provided a little bit of assistance and <laughs> attempted to spray paint it myself so I don't know this is kind of a fun project I definitely want to see if you guys try it out I want to see what your results are um, and if you do decide to do gold or different color picture frames I want to see that <laughs> For the bonus clip, I had a leftover uh, ring light, the actual bulb, and Ness and I are both into film and photography, um, things like that. So, I don't know, I thought it would be a cute little decoration in the house, so we actually spray painted it gold also. And then it was kind of cool because while spray painting it, the actual box that it was, you know, as you can see what it's spray painted on, we decided to keep that box also as decoration. So, you'll see that later, but everything turned out really, really cute. <laughs> So it's just like a gold hoop almost. It's really cute. So once everything dry, we went ahead and attached the twill to every single nail. Um, it should be even for each nail so that every piece of tweed will have something to attach itself to. And then just towards the end to seal everything, we actually used some Gorilla Glue. Um, I'm not sure if I actually filmed that part, but we used Gorilla Glue just to make sure everything was, you know, in place. 
and we tied the knot really, really tight. And that's about it. enjoyed the tutorial this is pretty much the last little bits and pieces of it I would definitely like to see if you guys do try to do this project I don't know if you guys would remix it but I would definitely like to see that so feel free to tag me in any pictures maybe on Instagram or just send me like any links down below if you guys decide to do that and I'll definitely check out your videos and your pictures and until next time I will see you guys in another video see you later That's too high up. That's why the damn paper's on like that. It should be flat. Yeah, but even flat is still crooked. Why are you holding that up so high? Because I'm looking at it and it's crooked. This should be right here, and that's look. The nail. You want to take the nail? Mm -mm. I'm saying your nail need to go. That nail was way. That okay, look. How about I screw it and you no. stand back? Cause. Yo, yo, eye coordination no. is bad. Yours is. Yes, do that right there. That's what I was going to do. I got this. That's what you need to do. You know what, Christina? Because you're struggling. No, you struggle. That's crooked. Yes, it is. You the one you that did just said put it right there. Because you act like you know what you're talking about. So since you want to act like you know what you're talking about, then I'm going to let you do it. You Baby, you just said put it. Yes, yes this is right all you got to do. Look. Hold this. Let me, let me, let me screw them. Here. Oh. Here. Hmm. Hmm. You don't need that to screw it. Look. I need for you to see. I'm just based off this one now. For it to sit like this. For it to sit like what? It's sitting like that. Let wow. it rise. Let no. it go. So, it, now you can see if it's straight or crooked. And it's crooked. The whole house is crooked. It could be the wall. It could be the wall. Yes. The whole house is crooked, baby. That's, that's, that's crooked. It's more on that side than it is on this side. Well, when I put the nail in it, it's going to 